Hi, my name is Nikima Prophet. I'm a developer advocate at PayPal. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to use PayPal's API collection with Postman to create an order and capture payment. Let's talk a little bit about Postman and what it is. Postman is a powerful API development tool. It's widely used by developers and teams to streamline their API development workflows, improve collaboration, and ensure the quality and security of their APIs. First, you'll need a Postman account. So if you don't already have one, head over to www.postman.com and you can sign up for one. There are a couple of sign up buttons here on the homepage. If you already have your Postman account, go ahead and sign into it because that'll make it easier when we fork the collection later on. There are a few ways to fork the API collection. One way is to go through our developer website at developer.paypal.com. If you Go to the menu and go to REST APIs. You'll see Get Started with PayPal APIs, and there's an orange button that says Run in Postman. When you click this button, you'll get the opportunity to fork the collection, and I'll demonstrate how to do that here. Um, I'm going to change the name, the label for this fork to my name, so Nikima's Fork, and it's in a workspace called PayPal. So click that button, and it will fork collection. So that's one way. The other way to fork the collection is from the Postman site. So postman.com slash PayPal will take you straight to our API collections. And there is a button right here that says fork. And it's the same deal as before where you can choose the label. So I'll do this again, Nikima's fork, and I'll just add a two. And then it's still in the PayPal workspace. So clicking the button to fork and that fork is created. Here we are back in Postman and I have the forked collection here. So I'm going to expand this so that you can see each of these folders are our APIs and inside of the folders are the requests that we can make. So in this video, we're going to look at the orders API, um, specifically creating an order and capturing the payment for the order. Before we get started with our own credentials, I just wanted to show you that right out of the box, you can click create order, click send, and get 201 created as a response. That is because PayPal has set this up for us with test credentials that work. You can start exploring the APIs right away. Next, I want to show you where to put your own credentials so that whenever we create this order and capture payment, you'll be able to see it in the sandbox account. So let's go to developer.paypal.com and we can log into the dashboard. Once you're logged into the PayPal developer dashboard, head over to apps and credentials. We are in sandbox mode and we're going to be using sandbox credentials. The developer account comes with a default application and that's what I'll be using. So we're going to need both the client ID and the secret. And I'll show you where to put that in Postman. First, I'm going to copy the client ID. Back in Postman, you see we have collections and we have environments, history. We want to click on environments. And there's PayPal override environment. So this is where we will paste our client ID and client secret. Let's paste the client ID into the current value column. And now we need the secret. Copy that, paste it into the current value. And then very important, save the environment. You wanna make sure that this is checked as the set active is checked. So you see here, this is the environment that we're in before it was no environment. So now when we click create order, let's look at the request body a little bit. There's intent, capture, purchase units with items and amount. The item is a green t-shirt that's $100. And when this order is approved by the buyer, they're going to go to this example.com. So let's go ahead and hit send and we get 201 created, which is exactly what we want. Now let's look through the response body. And what I'm looking for is a link 
to approve this, this order. So this is the link. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to paste in that link from the response body. And here it is. It's the $100 item. I'm going to click continue to review order. And we land on the example domain. Now let's go back to Postman so that we can capture the payment for this order. So we're going back to this orders folder and there's this request capture payment for order. So now all that there's left to do is to hit send. The order ID from our last request is already populated. It's in this variable. So we hit send and we should be able to capture that payment. And we get 201 created for the response, which is great. Capture is completed. This is my, my buyer's account, Nikema P Profit. And we see the breakdown of the purchase units, payee, the description, all of this. So what I want to do now is verify that this transaction was complete in my seller's account. So to log into my seller's account with the Sandbox account, we're going to sandbox.paypal.com and logging in. And I'm going to scroll down to recent activity and we see and we see the payment, the $100. I can click for more details and everything worked the way we wanted it to. In this video, we use Postman and the PayPal API collection to create an order and capture payment for that order. My name is Nikima Profit, developer advocate at PayPal. Thank you for watching this video.